it is time for the Ericaism of the day. Today, I want to ask you, what are you thinking about? What's on your mind the most? What do you think about the most? Do you think about bills the most? Do you think about relationship and family the most? Is your mind on Jesus? Um, do you stay in a place of joy? Where are your thoughts? Philippians 4, 8 and 9 tells us what to think on. Think on these things. And then after it says, think on these things, that it tells you that that's the way to peace. That's the way to being settled in your life. So when you're anxious and you're kind of all over the place, I think the first question you should ask yourself is what my, what is my mind on? Now, I know maybe you're going through things and there's a lot going on, but if you start to consume the problem and consume the issue and really um, not go, despite what's going on, I'm going to focus on what God said in, instead of what I feel and what I see. It's what I did when my husband was battling cancer. It's what I did when my marriage was in turmoil. It's what I did when I lost my dad. I was like, God, I have to trust you. This is the only thing I can do. Everything else would take me down. It's what I did as I walked through my, my solo journey and not sure how it would look and how things were going to turn out. I focused on what was good. I focused on what God said. I focused on the promise. I tried to keep my joy and my faith in a good place. Listen, people, it's possible. I'm not minimizing whatever you're going through. Mental stuff, um, hurtful stuff, you know, trying to process and deal with the past because it is a process. You know, all healings are not automatic and they don't happen overnight. But the process of, of getting to the, 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 the joyful place and the victorious place is what you say to yourself, is how you operate. If you operate in a place of faith, how do you handle people while you're going through? Are you mean and obnoxious to everybody and your excuse is I'm going through? Then yes, you're still going to have a bit, some issues going on because you're not handling it God's way. I always say God's way is God gets God's results. What are you thinking on? Things that are lovely, things that are pure, things that are just. You know what I'm saying? If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Keep your mind on the right stuff. I know your marriage is having issues, but keep your mind on the fact that God is going to turn this around, especially if you both want it. If you're both doing the work, if you're going to therapy, if you got good people around you, you can count on God working things out in your favor. It won't be easy, but he can. Family issues, cousins, sisters, brothers, uncles, mamas, daddies not getting together. God can work all that stuff. That's not an impossibility. You don't have to run and throw away the whole family. You don't. God can work it out. I'm telling you he can. I've seen him do it in my own family, in my own life. And so I'm only telling you because I've been there. And I understand that it's not easy and it's difficult, but you've got to stand on the word of God. You've got to fast and pray. You've got to get the negative things out of your mind. Don't have people around you that are just going to bring up the negative over and over. Stand on the word of God and rebuke the enemy. Stop fighting people and fight the enemy. Because once that person stops somebody, the, the, the negativity and the ignorance is going to jump on somebody else. Recognize the tactics of the enemy. He wants to affect your mind and your thoughts so you don't see clearly, so you don't hear clearly, so you don't have knowledge and wisdom to operate through as you go through whatever you have to go through. Think on the things of God. Think on the word of God. Think and Visualize the victory. Visualize you having what you need. Visualize the relationship being right. Visualize the marriage being right. Visualize the great relationship with your kids. I'm telling you, it works. It's, it's in the word. It's not my word. Use the word of God. That's what I'm telling you. What are you thinking about? Think on these things. Think on the word of God. That's Philippians 4, 8 through 9. Make sure you read it. And then read Colossians. Uh, oh gosh, I didn't write it down. Colossians. Set your mind on things above and not on things beneath. That's the scripture I want you to focus on. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. That is my Ericaism for the day. 